Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA Online video and today we'll be talking about the upcoming DLC and how in it we could be seeing a ton of cut content and I will be showing you guys what that cut content is and how it could fit into a hipster 2.0 DLC so hopefully you guys enjoy the video now I'll leave a link to the post that details all of the cut content from the game and this is a post from 2015 so it's a couple years old but the things that this guy predicted by just looking at the cut content the list is huge but just a few of the things the hunter number one we had the Rhapsody, the Dukes, Hydraulics, the Calvary Dagger, the 1922 Vintage Pistol, and the Wrench. So despite Rockstar back in the day cutting content from the game, it doesn't mean, or it didn't mean, that it was never going to make its way to online. And that, I think, is what's going to end up happening with Hipster 2.0. We all know about the rumors that Rockstar aren't focusing on GTA Online as much as they were in the past. And it just makes sense. The game's four years old. They have a new game coming out. They're going to focus on the new game. Not saying they're going to completely drop GTA Online just because it makes so much money for them, but I'm sure they do want to eventually move on. So it does make sense. Instead of making stuff from scratch, instead of making completely new features and items, why not use some of that cut content that's already in the game, that's already been worked on, and just, you know, refine it to make it good. So what cut content could be coming? What we'll do is start with weapons first. And the reason we're going to start with these is because the weapons that are cut, we've been waiting for years for them to put them into the game. Now, there were a few. Like I said, we had the wrench. We had the antique dagger and the vintage pistol. Those were all cut content and they came in various updates. And I don't know if you guys remember this picture, but this was the picture of all the weapons from the the game files and nothing's named there. So it's a little it's a it's a bit of a mess. But if we go to the ones that are named, we have the heavy rifle, which is the scar. We have the assault MG, which is the HK 21. We have the assault sniper, the M 110. We have the programmable AR, the XM 25. The loudspeaker, which I don't know how that would work. The fire axe, the lasso, the fire extinguisher, the wrench, and the shovel. Now, some of these aren't coming to GTA Line. The loud hailer, don't think that's going to happen. The, oh, I forgot the rubber gun. That's probably not going to happen. If they don't have the stun gun, don't see a rubber gun happening. Fire axe, it would be cool. Doubt it's going to happen, though. Lasso, totally not. Fire extinguisher, you can mod it in. So it's technically already in the game. And then the shovel. Don't think we're going to get a shovel. But the ones we could end up getting is the Assault Rifle, the Assault MG, the Heavy Rifle, and the Programmable AR. Now, we already have an Assault Rifle. What's weird is that instead of adding the M110 here, they added another Sniper Rifle, another Assault Sniper Rifle. So maybe we don't end up getting that one. But the other three weapons are kind of unique. Like the Assault MG, I think it'd be a, a nice combination of an uh, MG and an Assault Rifle. It'd be a good balance. And the same for the SCAR. The SCAR could be a balance somewhat between a Sniper and an AR. Like, it does better long range, but it's not as good for short range. But it's still an AR. And then the programmable AR, the XM25. I don't know how, I don't know if that'd be overpowered for GT Line, but it would be kind of cool to have in the game. I mean, look, we have freaking explosive snipers, so at this point, just give us everything and... Who cares? But those are some of the weapons. And when gun running came out, we had the whole weapon 2.0 upgrades. So it wouldn't surprise me if we do get some of these weapons as upgrades that cost a lot of money. I seriously doubt Rockstar would add any of these for only like $20,000. I mean, especially since Rockstar did charge a couple of hundred thousand dollars for some of those upgraded weapons. I could see them doing it again to try and get some extra money with these weapons. Now, moving on, those were the cut weapons. Let's move to vehicles. Now, the rumored update that's coming is going to be a Hipster 2.0. Now, we still don't know exactly what that means, and we don't know if it's going to be a true successor because Hipster 1.0 was regarded as a great DLC because of how cheap it was. Everything at the time was super expensive, but this Hipster 2.0 came out with a bunch of cars that weren't like good supercars or anything, but they were just nice cars, and they cost very little. Now, with the way GTA is going now, I don't see that happening. So that's why I don't know how true to its predecessor it's going to be. With that being said, though, one of the cut vehicles that was originally found was the Rhapsody. And guess what? The Rhapsody actually came out with that I'm Not a Hipster 1.0 DLC. Now, in the thread that's linked below, it mentions in the game files there is a handling file for the Uranus, which was actually a car, a sports car in GTA 4, and it kind of reminds me of the Futo, but that would be a car that totally fits with the Hipster 2.0 
theme. So it wouldn't end up surprising me if we do end up getting that car. Because if you remember, the Hunter was the same way. There was a bunch of lines of code in the game files that indicated a hunter was worked on they had like the handling they had the sounds but there was no model well maybe that's what's happening with the uranus now the most interesting aspect about this cut content are the properties in the little newswire post rockstar made teasing the next dlc they mentioned a bunch of new properties coming to maze bank foreclosure well let's go ahead and take a look at some of these properties that were cut there were 12 different properties including 11 bars and a plain scrapyard so we have the Bayview Hotel, we have the Cafe Rojo, we have Cockatoos, we have the Eclipse Bar, I guess, we have the Bar Fess, I don't know if that's an abbreviation for something, we have Bar High Men, we have Bar Irish, we have Les Bianco Bar, the Mirror Park Bar, the Singletons Bar, the Unbranded Bar, and then the Scrapyard. So those were cut properties, I'm assuming from single player, because there are a bunch of properties you can own in single player. However, these would totally fit in a Hipster 2.0 DLC. I mean, a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about how I would love to see some new properties or new businesses that aren't like the ones we have now. I would like to see some legit businesses, and all of these are legit. I joked that I would like to see a coffee shop, but that was actually one of the properties you could get. So a coffee shop would make sense in a hipster 2.0 DLC. And then all the bars, I mean, there are a ton in the game. So having them as properties in a hipster 2.0, that makes sense. And now I know this is a little speculation here, but nightclubs aren't far off from those properties. So if they did want to add nightclubs that people have been wanting, this would be the perfect DLC to add them. Now the scrapyard doesn't really fit in. So maybe that would actually be scrapped. But the other interesting one is the hotel, the Bayview Bar, which I guess is a bar, but it, it also is it's the hotel up in or up near Polito Bay. If you could own stuff like that, I think that'd be really cool and it would be a nice change of pace. Now, I don't know how the missions could work and I would hope they'd be different than the ones we have now where it's you go out, get something or steal something and then enemies come after you and you have to kill them and then you go bring it back. That's really my main hope for this DLC is that it just changes some stuff up so the gameplay is different but I could totally see all of this cut content or at least most of it coming out in that hipster 2.0 DLC you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think about all of this cut content what out of it would you like to see in the DLC and do you also agree that it makes sense that it fits the theme like I said if you want to check out all of it you can go in the description and check out the link but it's it's quite a bit so it may be a little bit too overwhelming for a lot of people so that's why i just wanted to make this video to condense all the important bits and information to let you guys know but thank you all please drop the video like if you did enjoy subscribe for more awesome gta content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one